Well, this World Track is about preserving a photography, preserving the cultural heritage as well. Pochi film commits to everything about photography. This includes the preservation of uh, the historical photography. We are happy that we can support this project by delivering high-end equipment to make sure the preservation meets its goal to digitize every detail and every visual information of the original. To digitize this whole archive, it was important for us to be effective on a very proficient timeline. We're using a Fuji GFX 100 to digitize the whole color archive, including the sheets and the individual slides, simply because we need to go quite quickly through thousands of sheets. Some countries are approximately 300 sheets. Some countries are around 1,000, 2,000 sheets. So to be able to go quickly, we use this capture process with a repro stand, a reproduction stand. Um, and we're just facilitating it much more quicker than any traditional scanner, simply because we click on the cameras to photograph it and then we pass on to the next sheet. It's a efficient system to go through a lot of volume. To photograph the individual slides, we used to use a lot of scanners at the time, whether they were ACFA scanners or the, the, the Imicon. However, all these technologies now becoming redundant. Technology is moving forward, computers are much more powerful, and all these old machines will not hold throughout time. Using the camera and photography to capture all this is going to be a revolutionary way to go forward with mass digitization and asset collection. When we capture the individual slides, the sensors are getting so much better that we can capture the essence of the photograph and its depth of color with a, a very simple layout. We transformed the GFX camera system into a high-end scanner. So we are capable to digitize the different formats and different materials. And when it comes to film digitization, we need to put a special attention on the tonal range. And with the GFX camera system, there are two aspects. We have this high resolution, which is needed for film digitization. And we also have a huge dynamic range of more than 14 stops. And the sensor generates data that has a color depth of 16 bit. And by all of that, we can preserve all the fine graduated shadows and highlights in the image, especially needed when digitizing film. There are also different aspects to that. Um, uh, when digitizing with, with the camera system, you have the advantage of being really, really fast. You um, capture the image in a fraction of a second. You have an instant live view of what you are capturing. You have an instant review of your capture. So the workflow is very fast, reliable, and consistent. With a GFX camera, you can digitize fully meeting the high standards of digitization when it comes to color accuracy, tonal reproduction, dynamic range, sharpness, and geometry. And you have the variation of uh, formats you can digitize by using different lenses with different magnifications. To photograph the color sheets, um, we're using a polarizer to make sure that the light emitted on the sides and on the table will not actually uh, damage any quality of the image. However, to photograph the individual slides, we use a macro lens like in a lot of technical photography, such as wildlife, we do the same system because the surface is so small. We need to be able to get the depth of the color and the sharpness of the image uh, with a very good quality lens. The benefit of using the GFX camera system is you have a variation of lenses you can use, so you're flexible in, in magnification. 
And of course, you can use different light sources. So in this project, we have the light table from underneath for the, for the slides, but we also have light from above to capture the frames they are labeled from the slides. When we take the photograph, we need to make sure that there's two exposures that are set. The one of the cardboard, which is opaque, it's not reflective or transparent. Um, it will often be the white frame around the slide. And then the actual slide itself holding the color slide. So the piece of film, which is lodged in the cardboard or the plastic frame. Um, thanks to the Fuji equipment, which has a great color rendering and light rendering, we're able to have that flexibility in the raw file that gets us to expose correctly for the cardboard as much as for the negative. To go ahead with this digitization program, we've created a team and a protocol of digitization. Um, we first start by organizing each sheet by color. Uh, we have a team of two people, uh, one digitizing and one organizing all the sheets to actually identify and find every single sheet in the right order. Then the capture will be done by one person who's going to literally photograph sheet by sheet in an order. Once that's collected, uh, we're working with someone who's going to be numbering following our protocol so that just with the file name, we can identify exactly what sheet we're looking at and where it holds in the cabinets or in the boxes that we'll be storing them in. From then, um, we send all the country to three members of the staff who is identifying through uh, our database all the images that have never been digitized on our platform. Um, they research by photographer, by place, and by thematic using keywords. Once they've identified an uh, unseen image, they'll crop the image in the sheet that we photographed. Those, because the files are so big, we can actually clearly see and vi visualize the unseen image. From that point forward, we go back to the repro stand to photograph the individual slides one by one. That's how we work and identify the unseens and also digitization of the sheets um, so that everything along the way can be retraced. 